when you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed a mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life, fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. And you can also see us on video if you go to YouTube. Go to search in YouTube and type in Take Your Life Back Today show. Or you can just type in Ralph, R-A-L-F, Friedrichs, and you'll find me. I want to give you directions this morning to our Father in Heaven's house. Directions to your Father's house and Bible emergency numbers. If you're headed down Sin Alley, you'll soon find it is a dead-end road, and uh, at its end is a place called Destruction. Folks, to avoid this place, you should do the following. Quickly make a U-turn and head towards Repentance Road. That's Repentance Road. You'll have to make a right turn to reach this destination. Watch out for uh, the potholes of pride that might deter uh, you or signs of independence that might lead you to go the wrong way. So pay attention. Once you are on Repentance Road, my friends, keep going until you reach um, Believer's Boulevard. I believe that's Believer's Boulevard. Then keep going straight until you come to Gospel Lane. Make another right turn and go through the green light, which is Jesus Christ. You are now on Grace Boulevard, which turns into Forgiveness Lane. Grace Boulevard goes into the Forgiveness Lane. Next, turn onto a bridge of faith, which at times may be over some troubled waters. But if you keep going straight, you can make another right turn into... Uh, prayer place parkway and once you're there you will find help any time of the day or night then another right turn will take you to the world uh, words of life place which is a scripture uh, it's right on scripture street this is a good place to find answers to any questions you may have you may have had about life for the helpers lives here and will guide you to to all truth friends remember as you go on your way yield not to traffic on temptation avenue and pass up envy drive hate boulevard and grudge lane just go right past all them 
Also, my friends, past Hypocrisy uh, Street, Gossiping Avenue, Line Lane, and Backbiting Boulevard. You will also do well to avoid Worry Road, Doubt Street, Pride Place, and Pity Path. For these are all detours that will lead you back to Sin Alley or Depression Dump. So you don't want to go that way. There may be times that you have to go down uh, Long Suffering Lane, Persecution Boulevard, or Trials and Tribulations Avenue. But that's okay, my friends, because Victory Street is straight ahead. So, keep going. Straight for you are on King's Highway and Heaven Bound. If you follow these directions, you will find um, uh, the Father's house where a special place has been prepared just for you to dwell in for the eternity. In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. Mansions literally means dwelling places or rooms. P.S. Please give these directions to all your friends and your family so they are not lost and they can find their way to the Father's house. Also, here are Bible emergency numbers uh, you use uh, to when you need to use them. Emergency Bible numbers as follows. When you are sad, call on John 14. When you don't feel loved, call on Romans 8, 38 through 39. When you have sinned, call on 1 John 1, 8 through 9. When you are facing danger, call on Psalms 91. When people have failed you, call on Psalms 27. When God feel uh, far from you, call on Psalms 139. When your faith needs encouraging, call on Hebrews 11. When you are scared, call on Psalms 23. When you are uh, worried, call on Matthew 6, 25 through 34. When you are hurt, call on Colossians 3, 12 through 17. When you feel no one is on your side, call on Romans 8, 31 through 39. When you are uh, seeking rest, call on Matthew eleven twenty five 25 through 30. When you are suffering, call on Romans 8, 18 through 30. When you feel that you're failing, call on Psalms 121. When you pray, call on Matthew 6, 9 through 13. When you need courage this morning, call on Joshua 1. When you are in need, call on Philippians 4, 19. When you are hated because of your faith, call on John 15. When you are losing hope this morning, call on Second Theologians 2, 16 through 17. When you are seeking peace this morning, call on John 14, 27. When you want to do good works, call on John 15. When you want to live a happy life, call on Colossians 3, 12 through 17. When you don't uh, understand what God is doing in your life, call on Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. When you want to get along with uh, others, Call on Romans 12, 9 through 21. And when you want to talk, call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger for the rest of their life. can change your life. Folks, emergency numbers to God. I give you directions to the Father's house. May God bless each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. And have a great Tuesday. Remember, God loves you. He will always love you. And as long as you reach out to him and ask him for guidance and direction, he will always be there, always be there for you because God always has your back. The thing is, is God is not on demand. You have to be faithful towards him. You have to show uh, each and every day that you want to live by the scriptures. And God will always be there for you. Take good care, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye now.